Hello, my chat partners. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Dion. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you are a returning chat partner, I really appreciate your guys' support. Thanks first. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone has been having a great week so far. I just want to send positive vibes out there to everyone. Today's video, guys, is going to be a cook with me video. And actually, it's going to be a cook with me video based on my potatoes and apple hash. It's just something that I came up with on my own one day, I had some items at the house and some apples, potatoes, and onions at the house. So I decided to cut them up and put them in the oven. And it's just something I just been cooking for a while. I've been cooking, you know, when my daughter was a, was younger. And it's just something that we liked. And it's, it's really good. And um, yes, yeah, so I just want to show you guys how I make it. And also, I'm making some other items to go with tonight's dinner, which is I'm going to put some corn on the cob on the stove and I'm also going to put some turkey meatballs in the oven some barbecue sauce on top just something simple quick and easy so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead on and throw the meatballs in the oven so they can start cooking while they're cooking I'm going to go ahead on and prep the onions the potatoes and apples so I can get ready to throw those in the oven and by the time I finish prepping that it'll be time for me to take the meatballs out so I can set them in the barbecue sauce so they can simmer doing now is I'm just putting some butter on top of the aluminum foil that I'm going to put the meatballs on because I don't want the meatballs to get sticky and be just stuck to the aluminum foil. You guys know how that can be. These are the meatballs that I'm going to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and put the turkey meatballs in the oven. Go ahead and put the water on for the corn. Okay guys, so now I have the meatballs in the oven cooking. I have the corn on the cob on the stove so that can start cooking. I just buttered my pan that I'm gonna put the potatoes, onions, and apples in. What I'm gonna do now is tell you guys the ingredients for the potato and apple hash or the apple and potato hash is whatever you wanna call it. The ingredients are sweet potatoes, red potatoes, you actually can use Yukon potatoes, red onion, gala apples. I've actually cooked this with Granny Smith apples as well and it tastes really good. Olive oil, garlic powder, pink Himalayan salt, Creole seasoning, and adobo all-purpose seasoning. Okay guys, so my corn is boiling. 
Look at that, guys. So yeah, what I'm going to do is add some butter and some salt to the water. Comment down below if you add butter and salt to your corn on the cob. <laughs> I got my turkey meatballs simmering in some barbecue sauce. And what I'm going to do now is just cut my corn on the cob off. This is what my potatoes are looking like. Now I'm going to mix the seasonings together. So I can go ahead and throw that in the oven so I can get to cooking. So first thing I'm going to do is add the olive oil. Just to coat it a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder. Some adobo seasoning, some Creole seasoning. Also guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my baking pan. And the reason I add the water is so it can steam a little bit. Okay guys, so this is what my apple and potato hash is looking like right now. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. Okay guys, so now the potatoes are in the oven. So what I did was I put some aluminum foil over top of the bakery dish and I put some little slits in there just so it can like cook with the water so it can steam up and with the aluminum foil on there to help it steam better. I'm gonna cook it like that for 30 minutes then I'll take the aluminum foil off and stir it up then cook it for another 30 minutes. Dinner's almost done guys. Use whatever seasonings you want. You can cook it for however long you want. When you cut up the apples and the potatoes and onions, you can cut them up whatever size you want. If you want a bite size, you want a small, it's however you want to do it. Just wing it the way you want to. You can use whatever kind of apples or whatever kind of potatoes you want to use. Okay guys, my potato and apple hash is all done now. They look good, don't they guys? Look at all that color. Okay guys, there you have it. That's my apple and potato hash recipe. Like I said before guys, you can use whatever kind of apples you wanna use, whatever kind of potatoes you wanna use, and whatever kind of onions you wanna use, and whatever kind of seasoning you wanna use. Cook the apple and potato hash. The temperature in the oven was 400 and I cooked it for an hour. It's up to you if when you first start cooking it, if you wanna put the aluminum foil on and cook it for 30 minutes or not, that's totally up to you. I've done it before without even putting the aluminum foil on top. It's just whatever mood I'm in. <laughs> Please comment down below and let me know if you guys do happen to try it or if you have a similar recipe that I can try, that I can cook up and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Ready to do, it's hot in here. I guess because the oven was on and just, it's hot. But you know what, guys? It smells so good with those potatoes and their on yarn up in there cooking. And the thing about it, too, guys, is that sweet potatoes, they got they add like a sweetness and so does the apple. So when you eating it, it be like that soft, creamy texture in your mouth a little bit with the salty with the regular potatoes. So it's good. Try it, guys. Trust me, you'll like it. It's something good that you can eat for dinner, and it's something good that you can eat for um, breakfast as well, or just cook it up and just eat it whenever you want. I do appreciate you guys hanging in here with me today and watching this video. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate everyone's support that watch my channel and that subscribe to my channel. Yeah, guys, I'm getting ready to go ahead on and wrap this video up. As always, you guys are great. Take care, stay safe, and be blessed. Bye, guys. Bye.